I think the biggest thing that hit me straight away was Ferro was the engagement level with the kids. I think it was a really good entry level into robotics. From there, I sort of started to discover how many different ways you could use Ferro. So we have Peter Utt, he's our IT coach. His job at the moment is to help classroom teachers bring in the digital technology. And he's always taken the role of you know taking my kids and I guess I've just been a bit of an observer from the distance. I think initially uh, there have been a number of teachers that are a little bit wary about using a new, new technology. The first step is to have an open mind. It's more of an approach of learning with the kids rather than the teacher being the lead all the time. But now that I'm part of it too, I'm feeling that energy and excitement of the, that the kids are feeling in that project. Don't be scared. And now the kids will show you as well and we'll learn together. As teachers, we're always learning. I think my favourite way is coding. Uh, I think that it's just so, so easy to do. So whether they're more advanced or whether they're at a beginner level, they can they can have a go and I think that's really important. We need to make it go further along and it will turn in there. So the golf course that we've done has been really great for my particular class. It's really built up their collaboration and communication. You have all different opinions and then one person might have the correct opinion and then you can use that opinion. You know, and that's one of those real world skills, isn't it? Being able to collaborate, be flexible in groupings. The Sphero projects have been a great opportunity to incorporate that into the projects because they learn that their view is not the only view. I've got a few that are sort of the quiet, quieter sort of achievers that in the group setting I wouldn't have picked that they would have stepped out and sort of been the leader of the group. And then it's really nice to see them sort of take charge and participate and give up some ideas. There's one boy in my class in particular that, you know, he's a very low self-esteem and I'm always trying to build him up. And when we started, you know, building the, the Sparrow cars for this project, he just took to it like a duck to water. It was wonderful actually seeing what he could do and that was a side of him that I had not seen before. I think with the, the preps and the grade ones, again, that engagement level was there right from the start. From there, it became very much a tool that we could use to integrate things like sight words and numbers and things that they would normally be doing in a classroom, but they, they've got that technology flavour and Sphero made it really easy to make that transition. This has sort of just opened up a whole new, whole new world for us with the digital technology and the way that they need to be learning it for the future. I've had fantastic feedback from the teachers when they've seen Sphero in action. Then they can see some possibilities for use directly within the classroom, not just for digital technology but across the curriculum. And I think it's also an area where the more they use it, the more uses they can find for it. This is the way of the world, this is what children are excited by and we need to tap into what is current and we need to tap into what the kids' interests are. It's that, that flexibility has been a real advantage to us rolling out Sphero within our digital technology program. Program. And for our kids, it's just been fantastic. Yeah.